Ize Iyamu takes over Edo Central, advances to dislodge Philip Shaibu in Edo North. On September 19th, Edo State citizens will head out to the polls to choose their next governor. The party members would have to choose a representative from their party then, in turn, present the candidate to the electorate to the electorate to make a choice. With the campaign on the way, there is palpable fear in the camp of the Obasekis Shaibu movement, OSM, and credible reports reaching us indicate Pastor Ize Iyamu has secured the endorsement of Edo, Edo Central APC members and advancing towards Edo North to dislodge the state deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. Ize Iyamu, who is known for always taking the lead, has made considerable inroads in Edo Central in the last few days. The firework conducted from March 27th to April 9th shows the voting intention ahead of the APC primaries is on the upswing for Pastor Ize Iyamu. Edo Central is currently on lockdown and fully secured for Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu with Obaseki facing a slum in the senatorial district. Definitely, the COVID-19 response has played a major role in altering the figures, although Ize Iyamu has always been on the lead in opinion polls. His response to the coronavirus outbreak has tripled his lead in Edo Central. Party members were beneficiaries from his relief palliatives and all coordinators of the POI campaign organization were given large quantities of relief packages comprising of bag of rice, beans, yams, oil, etc. to freely give among their followers and admirers. The school community leaders, Muslim community, etc. were all beneficiaries from the outreach. Pastor Ize Iyamu's wife, Professor Ida Ize Iyamu, who was spotted visiting and distributing relief items in Edo Central, also made a pastor tremendous impact on the rating of Pastor Ize Iyamu. With the conquering of Edo Central, Pastor Ize Iyamu seemed to be advancing towards Edo North to completely dislodge the state deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. This is currently causing unrest in the camp of Obaseki Shaibu movement, as members are alleged to be considering dumping Philip Shaibu for Pastor Ize Iyamu. Majority of the members stationed at Edo North Central Edo North complain of the lack of attention by the OSM leadership in the state. They say the state governor and his deputy have distanced them for a long and are still isolating them till date. Meanwhile, Pastor Ize Iyamu seemed to have done the needful in capturing the hearts of Edo North APC members. His consistency of reaching out is second to none. We are not even ta talking about his superb COVID-19 response, but his consistency is in reaching out to the people. This is not the first time we are benefiting from his benevolence. So when we say we are solidly behind Og uh, Osage Ize Iyamu, we are, we, sh we are sure we know exactly what we are talking about. Ize Iyamu has secured our trust. That was how an ardent supporter of the Obaseki Shaibo movement was quoted as saying, With the Edo Central secured and a certain victory in Edo North, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, who hails from Edo South, might be confident of victory if he maintains his current lead. So my people, that's the news reaching us by the hour. Um, just in case you haven't um, um, come across us before in Speak Network, please do thumbs up to let us know that you like exactly or you appreciate what we're doing. Um, yes, let's go back to the news. You see, uh, Pastor Ize Iyamu is taking over Edo Central and Edo is heading towards Edo North. You know, uh, Pastor Ize Iyamu, um, 
it's it's been said that he's um leading in the opinion polls mostly with this um his palliative in the COVID-19 but the question and the thing that we need to know as Nigerians we need to be careful because yes pastor he's doing very well right now he's um he's very hopeful to be the next governor of Edo state but um again Nigerians we ought to be careful because let it not look like what it has been let it not be like the normal status quo where um it looks like bribery bribing Nigerians to get their votes and you know because um, it's been said here that um, he's got um, he's done a lot of things in, uh, for the people at the, at the point in time he's given bag of rice he's given a lot of relief materials to to um, the people of Edo State right now and which we always know bag of salt is a normal thing in Nigeria when it comes to elections you know so um, it's come to the point where the people needs to decide exactly for themselves who the best candidate who they think that they can actually vote for not by what they have been getting from the the aspirant you know so um uh, the question again that we need to ask is pastor eze iamu is he doing his the pastoral duties at, like a philanthropist or is he actually acting as a politician at this point in time and that uh, we we need to draw the boundaries so that as, as children of god we don't cross the boundaries when before we start bribing and putting our hands in things that are not meant to be you know but obviously it's been said here that the beneficiaries of these um, uh, palliatives are even um, Muslims, Christians, and everyone around the community, which is very, very good. So it tells us that uh, Pastor Eze Yamu is doing a normal political stuff that he needs to do. But again, my people, we need to be very careful. We need to really actually see, think if Pastor Eze Yamu is the right candidate for us to vote to take a state forward, you know. Um, obviously, um, some people are saying that um, um, the OSM, the um, uh, Obaseki um, uh, Shaibu's um, organization haven't looked after them very well. They've neglected them. They've um, marginalized them for a while. And hence, they think that uh, Pastor Ize Yamu is going to be the right candidate for them. Anyways, the elections is still far away. The primaries is still coming up. Let's see what is going to happen. Let's see how it's going to happen in Edo State. You know, we have a whole lot of, a handful of people looking at uh, being the governor of Edo State. So let's watch out. Let's see. Um, yesterday, um, the national chairman, Adam Soshomole, has come to say it's not by delegates, but it's by direct primaries, which um, every... Uh, voter has to come and vote for his or her candidate so a lot of things are unfolding in the adult state politics at the moment so let's just sit back and watch how it unfolds but people what we would like to say as a news outlet as a media outlet is that we need to think about who we are voting for we need to vote for the right candidate we need to make sure that we do everything with the power right now is in our hands so we need to make sure that we get the right person in spite of their political risks that is not our business all we want is good governance in Edo state so if however they want to fight themselves or or do all sort of political stuff it's not our problem we want to make sure that our voters card our vote counts in this coming election in september we want to make sure that um every um Edo state um, um citizen votes for the right candidate Right, my people, so that's the news reaching us. And this is Speak Network. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up as well, just to let us know that you appreciate what we're doing. And also, um, leave your comment in the comment section. Let us have a decent conversation over the comment section regarding what is happening in the Do State right now. And I hope to see your comments. We hope to chat. We hope to do everything together and put our voice out there so that the politics of Edo State can be clean and fair and free and fair ele uh, elections. Thank you very much until I come your way again. Take care. Be safe. Cheers. Bye.